In this video, I'll show you how to create rolling credits in Premiere Pro. Hi everyone, I'm the Web Guru. I do tutorials on audio, video, and photography, so be sure to comment and subscribe. And to create rolling credits, I am going to switch over to the Graphics Workspace by going up to Window, Workspaces, Graphics. Now this should reveal the Essential Graphics panel over here. And I'm just going to create a regular text object. So I'm going to click on the Type tool here and then click inside of the Program Monitor. I'm just going to single click and start typing in my credits. Now you can type everything in manually, but usually it's a lot easier to create your credits in another file and just copy and paste them. So I have a text file here. I'm going to select all and then copy all of my credits and then I will paste them into Premiere Pro. Now you'll notice that everything is left justified. So I'm going to change the alignment of my text and you can do that very easily. Over here in the Essential Graphics panel, make sure you're in the Edit tab and then if you go down a little bit, you'll see that there's a button to center align the text. So that's better, but um, the text box itself is over here on the left side of the screen, so I want it to be centered in the screen. So underneath Align and Transform, you will click on the Horizontal Center button, and now the text looks good. You can also modify the font and the size. I've chosen a, a simple font and a size that works for me, but you can make the uh, font whatever you want. You can make it larger and smaller. If you scroll down, you can even change the color of it too. That's called the fill color. Now, if I take a look at the credits, um, they're pretty much static. There's no movement. So now we need to make them roll. And in order to do that, go back to the selection tool and then click away from the text to deselect it. So I'm just going to click outside here and then you'll be able to see the roll option. So now if I click on the roll option, the credits are actually rolling now. So there they are. They're pretty fast and that's because by default the text is going to be five seconds long. So if I want it to be slower, then I'm going to just drag the edge of the text clip here. Um, if I make it longer, then the text will slow down. And then I can slow it down even more until I'm happy with the speed of the credits. Now there's a few options that you might want to modify. So I'm going to go, I'm going to select the text again and then I'll be able to see my roll options. So these are checked by default, start off screen, end off screen. Those are usually the way that most credits are. You can see at the very beginning, it's off screen. Now let's say you want there to be a delay. That's called the pre-roll. So if I add, let's say one second of pre-roll, now there's going to be a one second delay before the credits come on screen. If you want to delay at the end, that is called post roll. Um, the ease in and ease out options will um, accelerate and decelerate the text in the beginning. I usually don't use those. So now I have like some simple credits inside of Premiere Pro that roll automatically. I can adjust the speed, the font, the size, the color, everything I want to make the credits perfect. So hopefully that was a helpful tutorial for you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Be sure to uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. In the meantime, keep learning and growing.